Okay, so we've had a very brief look at how to do the basics of a picture-in-picture picture and how to zoom into an item using the event pan crop button. However, as I mentioned before, it is an animatable item. Now I'm going to delete this particular one, go back to my Explorer, and I'm going to actually do some picture-in-picture. Picture. So I'm going to go up a level, find my video. I'm going to do picture-in-picture picture with, say, the boat coming into harbour. Okay, so I double clicked it. Let's find an in point and an out point. So we want it to come in about there. So I to in, and I want it to finish about there, O to out. And then I want to drop it from the cursor. So there's from the cursor, drop it in. There it is on my timeline. So I've got a nice piece of video that I can actually work on to do some animation. I'm going to click the event pan crop button. Notice where the cursor is. It's not at the beginning of the clip, and I do want it at the beginning of the clip, and I want it synchronized with the other cursor. So I've got the sync cursor button on. So if I drag this and take it to the beginning of the clip, let's just have a little look and see what's happening inside the timeline. Notice that the cursor has actually moved to the beginning of the event. So it has actually worked. I'm going to hold the control key to stop it snapping into the window when I move it. There we go. So now I'm ready to do some picture-in-picture picture animation. And being at the beginning of your clip is important simply because you've got some keyframes here. Now these triangles are keyframes. You can click on a triangle and you can move it. Okay, so you can move these triangles if you want to. So that you're saying don't do anything until you reach this point. So if you want something to stay where it is, you could move the keyframes. I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. The alternative is, if you don't want it to start changing until a certain point, you could then click this little Add button. So it says, whatever value was here, do not change until here. Because these keyframes are telling Vegas exactly when things must change, or exactly what they must be at that point in time. So at the beginning, you're saying to Vegas, you must be zoomed into this level. Okay, that's exactly how it should look must be zoomed in to this level. Now, if I want to pull it out and actually do a picture-in-picture, picture, using my middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and I'm going to pull that out, and I'm going to say, right, I want it to look like that. Okay, so I know what that's going to look like. If I just look at my window over here, you can see that's what it's looking like over there. Okay, so we've done that. That's Hold the Control key again to stop it snapping so we can see it properly. So that's how I want it to look at the beginning, but... I want it to stay like that for a few moments, so I can pull the current time indicator along, say, for three seconds, stay like that. Then, if I want it to stay and not change over time, because when you create another keyframe, you're saying change over time, I click the plus button saying do not change. And its position property will remain the same between this point and this point. We haven't got anything on masks, so we'll come to mask later. So it's really just position that we're interested in for what we're doing. Now I want it to move over time. And what I want to do is I'm going to go forward to the end of my clip now. And I'm going to say between this point and this point, Vegas, I want you to make sure that this image moves from this point to completely off screen. All I need to do is shift it across. However, I want to make sure I'm snapped to my grid. So I'm going to hold the shift key and start pulling it across, making sure I'm snapped so it's not going up and down. It's just going across. It went up and down there. So Go back, keep moving up and down, make sure you're sticking to those points. And then when I get to that point there, I know that I haven't gone up and down because I've got the same, this F has maintained its relationship and the image is outside of the viewable area and I've got my little keyframe. So what I've said to Vegas is between this point and this point, you must move the viewable area. So you can see the clip sort of stays the same, but the viewable area has moved across. OK, so animation has taken place and animation is created with keyframes. Now, keyframes can be changed. If you right click on a keyframe, just going to right click on a keyframe, you've got lots of different types of keyframes, smooth keyframes, slow, fast. You need to play with these. Just click on them and play with them. I'm going to say I want both of these to be smooth keyframes. I'm going to right click on that one. You can see we've made them all smooth keyframes just by doing one of them. So they're all ready to move. And now we can go back to Vegas, shut that down, and I can go back to the beginning of my clip using the open square brackets. Just click slightly before it in actual fact. And it might play back slowly, or it might play back juddery because Vegas is now doing a lot of work. 
If you're having problems with it playing back slowly, then what you need to do is double click the item and do a RAM preview. In other words, render it into the RAM on your machine. And you do that by doing Shift and B. And it's going to work through the clip bit by bit until the point when the animation starts. There's the animation starting. And then it's going to go through the whole of the clip so it plays back smoothly. Okay, we can see what the animation looks like. So that's now rendered it. Click here, just go slightly before, watch this screen over here, hit the spacebar to play. Now I'm going to stop it there because it jumped onto the screen like nobody's been, it went bang. I don't like that. What I want to do is go in and say, really what I want you to do is come smooth on and smooth off. So fade on and fade out. Okay, so I've got a fade now that might play slightly slowly when it goes through the fade, but let's have a look. Spacebar, fades in, nice fade. Stays where it is for a moment and then it starts tracking. Going across, so that's two video images, picture in picture, fading off the screen at the end. Now you can do this with as many tracks as you like. Picture in picture is very easy to do, but this, the animation is the key. So click in this event pan crop, open it up again, and just bear in mind that if your cursors are locked, okay, it's important that the cursors are locked if you're going to do this, locked to the same place in the timeline. Wherever you make a change now, you're going to add in another keyframe. So if I zoom out again, and at this point, I actually grabbed my window and I went like that. Notice that another keyframe has been created. And let's look and see what the path has done now. So it's starting at the top. It's going down to that keyframe and then up and off. OK, so I've actually created a quite smooth path because I've chosen smooth. It's actually smooth. Had it been linear, it would have been a bit more bang, bang, bang. But uh, smooth gives me a nice smooth motion path. So let's see what that looks like in Vegas. Click before, spacebar to play. There's the item. As it starts going across, it's going to be influenced to go down. And then it's going to come back up again. Now notice that the second part was quicker than the first part. OK. So by adding this second keyframe at this point, notice that this distance is longer to this one. What we're basically saying is this has got quite a long time to get to this point, but when it gets to this point to this point, it's got a shorter period of time. Well, you can grab hold of a keyframe and pull it backwards and forwards in time. So if I pull it halfway between the two, shut that down, and let's play it again one more time. The animation starts here, goes down, and goes up and okay it's slower so you can play with the timing just going into event pan crop and playing with it you can also delete keyframes so say for example I wanted it to start right at the very beginning as we did before and just delete this keyframe right click on it right and click delete so now it's going to start animating from the beginning now that keyframe there was to say to so Sony Vegas don't let it move the clip stays where it is between this point and this point. Now it will start immediately moving slowly to this point. If I want to, I can take that to the middle so that it's roughly, yeah, roughly 50-50. So slowly it'll go down to that point. Slowly it'll go back to this point. Now one other thing, if I click over here, make sure I'm actually over that keyframe and zoom out. I can say, do you know what? I really wanted that in the middle. So just move it to the middle. OK, so it's now roughly in the middle at the bottom. Because I'm over the keyframe, I've changed the value of that keyframe, and the animation will now smoothly come to that point. However, if you're slightly off, one frame off, I'm slightly off that keyframe, and it can be harder to see this on longer clips, and I happen to have it here, OK, look what happens when I just play between the two. If I just drag, you'll see that it goes to one point, and then do you see it jump. Now let's look and see what that's like on the screen. I'm just going to go here and let's just play through that little bit there. Oh, do you see the jump? Play that again. Watch it here. Jump. So because keyframes are not smoothly or close together, I've got problems. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to select that second keyframe I don't want and just hit delete. So now I've got smooth animation all the way through. Let's have one more look at the end here. I'm going to click here and push play. Smooth animation coming down to this point and then smoothly pulling off. But the speeds are slightly different 
because of the way that the animation has been done. Now, that's picture in picture. Do bear in mind that you can also do pan and scan the same way. If you bring in a big image, so let me go up to my images, bring in picture, let's bring in that, uh, let's bring in Linda's farm this time. So I'm going to put Linda's farm right at the top here. It only goes on for five seconds. I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip and then click event pan crop because my cursors are linked. It's at the beginning. And this time, I'm going to zoom right in, so I'm actually going to go in. You can rotate, obviously, you can see you can rotate here, but I'm not going to rotate. And I'm going to start down here, and then a little way, notice the keyframe's already there, and then sort of one second roughly into my clip, I'm going to be up here, and then a bit further into the clip, I'm going to be over here, and then the big reveal, so here, I'm going to be over Linda's Farm itself. Holy Island, it's sometimes known as Linda's Farm. So let's put it on a third so we can sort of, we've got the, the centre of focus in the right place. Okay, and it can stay like that for the rest of the clip. So let's X that off. Let's do a fade at the beginning and at the end because that's the way I like it. Now, this is what we call a pan and scan. It is not a picture in picture. So if we just go to the beginning, and hit the space bar to play and then up comes Linda's farm it's very quick because it was all done in five seconds okay that was a bit too quick because it was five seconds you get the idea should have made that 10 or 15 seconds but it does actually work the only thing that you often need to do if you're going to do that is put in hold keyframes so you, I'm gonna just get rid of these two here okay and what I'm gonna say is hold on the boat so I'm gonna come to this point so you need to hold on to the boat for two seconds so I'm going to select this keyframe here, I'm going to go copy, two seconds, click, click at the two second point and paste. And that's the hold keyframe. Okay, so I'm saying be the same value, don't change. And then you can zoom up and show us out from there. So let's just have one more look at this uh, slightly quick animation. Play, in it comes, stays there for a while, zooms up and stays. Okay, now again, one other thing, you can change those keyframe types. So you can right click on the keyframe and say, look, they're rather linear. They're bang, bang, bang. I want it a bit more smooth. So make it smooth. Let's just watch it one more time. It's a slightly smoother look than before. Okay, so that is the basics of animation and the basis of doing an animated picture in picture and pan and scan. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you for watching. Thank you.